Hi everyone, welcome to Hot Mamas. We had a question about Lisa and brawn touring. So Lisa has brought her stuff, some of it, things, things. And, she, and she's going to show you how she does brawn tour. I've already done myself just to keep it simple. I didn't want, I wanted just one person to do it. So I'm going to watch and comment and right. commits while you're All right. doing so this. The first thing is, is I'm lazy. Right. Ain't okay. no time to contour. So ain't no time. Ain't nobody got time just, for that. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to explain. I'll explain it and then I'll do it. You know, I'll brawn tour and then you will know that I'm doing it because I'm lazy, but there is like a way that you're supposed to do it. So, um, first of all, let's just talk about the difference between contour or contour colors and bronzer colors. So here we have a couple of contour palettes. This one is um, Kevin Aquan and this one is by Ish. And you can see these colors here, they're contour colors. They are designed to be um, more of a grayish color because what you want, they're trying to, you're trying to cast a shadow to kind of cut yourself a cheekbone. So that is the reason why they're, you know, colored this way. Whereas a bronzer is, you can see, it's a much, much that warmer color. It's like an orangey, bronzy color. And that is because the purpose of the bronzer is to kind of give you, you can see on my face, I've just got um, foundation on and concealer, and it's kind of flat, flat looking. So the bronzer just kind of gives you some warmth to your face, and that's its intended purpose. And the contour is supposed to, you know, you're supposed to be using to kind of cut yourself some cheekbones and, you know, maybe minim wherever you put your, it's darker, it'll kind of make it narrower. You know, you put it, you can put it here and here to kind of make the bridge of your nose narrower and around the perimeter of your face a little bit if you've got a big forehead. And in here and here if you want to cut your cheekbones out. So I thought what I would do is I would do one side contouring and one side like brawn touring because brawn touring is really just a 10 second thing <laughs> and it's because there's laziness involved and that's it but technically speaking you you would use this to contour and then over top of that you would use this to kind of give you more depth and more warmth to your face so and that's just, oh story i'll just interrupt for one second just to say that for me on my face today just in, so you know what it looks like alone i have the kevin o'quan um, highlighter and, and um, contour. contour. So, if I were to contour properly, I would take this. I would take a kind of a, a flat brush, and I would take the Kevin. I would take a grayish shade, and I would. The, take that off. the other thing with contour is it doesn't have sparkle. Did you say that? Before? Yeah, it's all matte. So I'm gonna tap that in, and you can see there's a line there now, right? So you can see kind of like how I'm tapping out a, a cheekbone basically there okay so and then after that what some people do is take a powder and they bake it underneath so the contrast between here and here is more so that it looks you look like you have more of an angled jaw it makes it look more cut like there's it's, yeah it's so I'll, I'll do that this is RCMA powder. Yeah. It's available uh, a lot of places, Ulta, I even think, and it's really inexpensive. And it's good and for it's baking. Good setting powder. So I'm going to just place it right there, like that. And then what you would do is um, continue contouring around here. So I'm going to take a little bit of the contour and contour around around the perimeter of my face. I must say, uh, the Kevin is my most favorite contour. Is it? Yeah. Like that. So you would kind of contour around your face, contour here. You, if you were so inclined and you wanted to um, do the bridge of your nose, you know, you take a flat kind of brush and draw two lines down here the bridge of your nose. This is for people who tend to have a wider nose, which I don't. We don't. Skinny. Yeah, so we both have skinny noses. And kind of blend it down. I'm not going to do it on the other side. And then you would sort of take your highlighter and. You really can tell the difference, I. Yeah, you can. You see, it's it's cut off half. Like, no, it's here. dramatic. Yeah. 
It's dramatic. It's it's people underestimate the power of a good contour. I yeah. think. But the key is is you need to you need to blend it. Yeah. So, okay. So um, well, we're just gonna say that this is done, and I'm gonna dust away the bake, and I'm gonna start blending in this contour shade, so that my face is a little red. Okay. So that it doesn't look like a stripe. So you can see, I've kind of cut myself a cheekbone. Definitely. Then after that, you would take your blush. I'm going to use this blush. Which is ambient. It is dim, dim illusion. Dim and dim illusion. <laughs> dim and dim illusion. <laughs> dim I look really damp. <laughs> dim infusion by Hourglass, which is a beautiful black brush. Mm -hmm. Brush tuck and then kind of color the tops of my tops of my cheekbones. I'm gonna try to use the monitor like Jackie does. That's good. <clears throat> that blush is nice on you. It's really pretty. Yeah. All right, and then on top of that, you would put your highlighter. Highlighter. And now I'm gonna use a kind of up in this area because I've got a corally brush on. Left. The cool thing with this highlighter is you can pick your color. So if you're if you have darker skin color, you can pick off the darker end of the of the palette, which is really kind of neat. And I'm doing this contour side first because when you see the bronzing situation, it's really <laughs> it gets like super lazy. <laughs> okay, so. Then I would just sort of take the whole thing and kind of blend it in together. And there you have kind of your... That's a contour. Contoured look. The other and thing, then I'm, I'm just going to mention one thing when it comes to contouring that I've had questions about. Um, how to hide a double chin. Oh, yeah. Um, how that to part. hide a sagging chin. Um, what I do is take the contour and a big brush yep. and then carve myself out. A jawline. Yeah, that's true. So I would do that too if I was contouring. I would take. I'm going to take this other because you're just drawing yourself a shadow underneath yeah. here to kind of get rid of that double chin. And see, it does improve the appearance. Yeah, of the double chin. So does a scarf, <laughs> <laughs> which is why I often wear scarves. All right. So there is, there is that's, that's the contour side. Brontouring, aka lazy girl way of doing things, is you take preferably not a bronzer that's sparkly, but this is what I have here today. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take my favorite bronzer brush, which is a brush by who is this? Beauty Geek Duo Fiber Brush. Swirl it in here a little bit. Tap it. I'm just going to go around the perimeter of my face like this. Tapping is important when you're going to the facial area. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a big splotch right. where you drop your brush. Even more important than contour because contour tends not to be as floaty, yeah. as much fallout. As I this. totally did this in the wrong order too because on the contour side, I, I would also take bronzer and warm that up a bit. Yeah. So, But I, yeah. Did, it, I did it in the wrong order. But anyway, we'll just, we'll just pretend I didn't. And then we take some of that and kind yeah. of smoosh it down there. So once you're finished contouring, um, if you're feeling too ashen in your face, you could take a bit of bronzer to warm yourself up. That's right. I don't so, normally need that because my face tends to red. Mine's so. a bit red today too. But anyway, so I've done this here and I'm going to take this and I'm going to pretend that I'm using it as a, a contour shade and just sort of cut this out. Now the thing with bronzering is, is instead of looking like a shadow, Right, because the warmer color is not designed to make it look like a shadow in order to cut out your cheekbone. So it's just a little kind of shading, really. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just really fast. So and then I take some of that and I put it underneath my chin. And fast meaning that you don't have the grayish, cooler look. You can just go right to the warm. Right. It'll give you the effect without having to do the dual step process if you're not. If, if you need that, if your facial tones need not it. Not the most, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not the, the best effect, mm. 
you know, like the, yeah, the it's best, not the most it. effective way, but, but it's yeah, it's the fastest way, and it's passable. So mm -hmm. I've cut in a little bit of a, you know, here around the primer of my face and underneath my chin. I'll just take my blush, throw that on top, and that's bronzing. Yeah, and so this side is bronzing. So I just I just use my bronzer as as contour basically, but knowing that. It's technically it, not yeah. designed for that, um, but I just do it anyway. So there's the um, blush, and then I'm just gonna go over top of that a little bit with the highlighter here. And the highlighter, I'm gonna use my, my little highlighting brush, which is right here. So I'll just take that there. Kind of. Do a little V around the eye. And then you can take a, you know, kind of your powder brush and, you know, sort of blend it all together a little bit. And that's basically, and actually you can see on this side, it's kind of a better job of cutting out my cheekbone and this side is, it's okay. It's shaded. It, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's lazy. Girl. It's a more natural. Not it's, lazy girl. it's lazy girl. It's lazy girl. So that uh, to answer your question, that is contouring and bronzing. Yeah, that's it. That's like, it. Really, I mean, it's just as simple as going like this, like this, and under here, and don't forget under here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks you for joining us. Don't have any chins. No. No. Nothing to see. <laughs> nothing to see. <laughs> just hide these uh, extra bits. <laughs> the contouring does do a better job. Yeah. It just takes longer. Yeah. For sure. Ain't no time Absolutely. for that. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Hot Mamas Live. We're available on Twitter and Instagram at Hot Mamas Live. We have a website called hotmamaslive.com and feel free to subscribe by pushing the button above Lisa's head. Ring the bell if you want to get an email when we have a new video out. Thanks again for joining us. Bye.